Hello gamers, my name is DeFizzle. In today's video, we're going to be going over something that for a lot of you has been highly anticipated, and that is my new main ARC 3.0 Blink Hunter build. This video will be segmented into three parts. First, my subclass will cover my super abilities, aspects, and fragments. Then, my weapons will go over my main weapons that I'll be using, as well as weapons that I may decide to hot swap to during games depending on the situation, and lastly my armor. Let's waste no more time and dive into the nitty gritty of this build. Now to start the subclass portion of the video, we are going to start with the super. I personally am a big fan of Arc Staff over Gathering Storm because it has so much more practical use in game, whereas Gathering Storm is a very much one and done thing, which makes it very easy to bait or avoid. Arc Staff gives you the ability to block, and when you dodge, you take reduced damage, but that is only covering the defensive capabilities of Arc Staff. In the offensive department, you are able to pull off high damage combo moves that can pretty much destroy any any super in the game if it's timed right. Moving on to the dodge, I personally go with Gambler's Dodge so that I'm able to have my melee more often as it's pretty important to the effectiveness of the build at times. You regenerate your melee when you dodge at someone within 14.9 meters is what we found in testing and like I said it's, it's pretty important to have your melee up. My movement ability of choice this time around happens to be Blink, as many of you may know. The furthest Blink is capable of taking you is about 22 meters, and I find it very useful for closing the gap on players or repositioning in tight situations. Next is my melee ability, which is Disorienting Blow. Striking an enemy with the melee will blind them and create an AoE effect, which is effective at any range within 5 meters of the first target you hit with your charge melee. This will do 102 damage to the initial target or 2 damage to the AoE targets. It also is worth mentioning, the further the AoE targets are from the initial target, the weaker the blinding effect is on them. For example, if you're 4 meters away from the person getting meleeed, you'll be able to see, but your HUD will be removed for a short time, whereas if you're only one meter away from the initial target, you will be fully blinded as well. Lastly for the ability column is my grenade ability. The arc bolt grenade is my pick as it is usually a safer grenade to use as it isn't too hard to use effectively, although at times it can whiff. The arc bolt grenade can hit targets at up to 8 meters and after it hits someone can also chain another person at up to 8 meters. On to part 2 of the subclass segment, which is the aspects of my build. I opt for Tempest Strike because it adds a lot of consistency to shoddy mailing people a lot of the time. This is also an ability that can whiff and most definitely will at times. The Tempest Strike has a length of 25 meters and a width of 2 meters and it does 111 base damage and will jolt targets when you hit them. With the next aspect, Lethal Current, you will not find much synergy with the rest of the build, as you will with other things, but I just find it nice to have at times to clean up kills whenever I do not have Tempest Strike or I'm not able to safely get it back with my dodge. Lethal Current allows you to melee people at 7 meters, whereas normally you'd only be able to hit people from 5. Also, when you hit someone with le while Lethal Current is proct, you will deal an extra 50 damage, which has an AoE effect of 5 meters. To finally finish the subclass section of the video, let's cover the fragments briefly. My first fragment is Spark of Recharge. This fragment allows you to regenerate your grenade and melee whenever you are critically wounded. I find it very useful at times, especially if you're trying to play aggressively, which is typically the goal with this build. Next is Spark of Resistance. This fragment allows you to have 15% damage resist whenever two or more targets are within 14 meters of you, 14 to 15 meters, and has a lingering effect. So once you get Spark of Resist rocked, it lingers for four seconds after you lose it, and then you lose it. Next is Spark of Feedback, which allows you to be granted a damage buff whenever you are meleeed briefly. Damage buff is a about 50%, so on your normal melee, you deal 100 damage, or 102 if you have a charge melee, and with Spark of Feedback proc'd, you'll be dealing 150 damage, or 152 with your charge melee. And for Tempest Strike as well, because it does buff Tempest Strike, you normally will be dealing 111 damage, but with Spark of Feedback proc'd, you will be dealing 166 damage, which is effectively more around 49.5 in Increase, but you know basically a 50% buff to your melee damage spark of feedback very very useful has definitely clutched many situations for me that I would not have won otherwise 
Lastly, we have Spark of Frequency, which honestly isn't really something that I have there for any other reason that, or other than that it is just, you know, I mean, I don't really know what else I could use here, really. There's not really anything that has any application. I could use Spark of Momentum, but I already have Slide Shot on my uh, Wastelander, so it's not really too practical. So we're just going with the Spark of Frequency. So when I hit people with my melee, I have that little bit of extra increase to reload speed. It's actually pretty substantial, but it's it can be very nice to have. With all of that being finally covered that is the subclass section of the video now we're going to move on to the weapons commonly you'll see me using the wastelander m5 shotgun with corkscrew rifling assault mag slide shot opening shot enhance hot swap and quick access sling with my palindrome with hammer forge ricochet rounds quick draw range finder vanguard's vindication range mass work and a range mod depth range mod and my memory interdict which i wish was a different role at this point in time but this is what i use commonly that's quick launch proximity proximity grenades quick draw danger close and a blast radius mass work and a hip fire grip to finish it off this is going to be once again what i commonly use but at times in games you will see me potentially hot swap to no time to explain if i feel like the enemies are using weapons that require me to use a more long-range primary option or you know the per csd or my messenger or i might even swap to a sniper or i could potentially swap to multi-mac for a close range option or maybe i'll swap to wither horde to counter a bubble or a well and that's pretty much the theme for my energy and kinetic weapon slots is to kind of have one of everything in terms of being able to hot swap to it i start off with a shotgun and a hand cannon but in each slot i have either a pulse scout a sniper you know or an smg and in my energy slot i have polaris lance for a long range option stars and shadows pointed inquiry seventh serif if i find i need to swap to a kinetic primary because sometimes i'll swap to no time to explain and want a shotgun in the energy slot a frozen orbit so i can have a range sniper funnel web so i have a decent smg with this is actually probably the best smg probably be remaking a video on it whenever i can happen to get my hands on a god roll and then in the heavy weapon slot you know we have my memory interdict like i said and then commemoration i'm going to change the mod on this really quick because this is supposed to be probably i put i think i put quick access sling i was using it in the raid but i have uh commemoration for sixes because i find lmgs tend to be pretty useful in sixes and then storm chaser for sixes or threes sleepless for sixes or threes and some of these heavy weapons are for like countering supers like tractor cannon can be a weapon that you hot swap to to counter a super at any point in time same with ward cliff or black talon all very good super counter options i just make sure that i pretty much have all my bases covered on top of the fact that i have these good base weapons because quite frankly it, i think it's very much worth taking advantage of the fact that you are able to have infinite ammo on any primary weapon and swap to it at any point in time currently in the sandbox so it's worth definitely taking advantage of in my opinion and with all that we are done with the weapon section and let's move on to the armor and for the third and final segment of the video before the gameplay we have the armor and for the armor, I'm going to be using on my helmet, the hand cannon targeting mod and shotgun targeting. I really like to have both of these usually to help with ADS speed mostly and to have a little bit more aim assist on both the weapons. And I have a resilience mod as well. And then onto the gauntlets, I have hand cannon loader and fastball and radiant light to give me 20 plus strength. I'm not really too worried about getting charged with light with this build and a little, little mini resilience mod there too as well. And then on the chest piece, I have a recovery mod, flinching hand cannon aim, the flinching shotgun aim to help with re-oil as much as possible. And then we have stompies. So I have a lot of people ask me, why stompies if you're using blink? Because obviously part of stompies is it improves your high jump, straight jump, and triple jump. And then on top of that, the airborne affecting the stat of all your weapons receives a large penalty so why would I trade the large penalty and basically I'm just getting sprint speed and slide distance? 
So the reason that I do that personally is because I find having the slide distance be nine meters instead of seven meters, because that's what it is. Without stompies, you slide seven meters. And with stompies, you slide nine meters, which is about a 22% increase. And I just find that more useful for aping people a lot of the time. And that's what I'm trying to do with this build. Anyway, I have a resilience mod, two invigoration mods, just because why not? I don't really know what else I can put there. Not really anything to my knowledge. And then quick charge, which gives me basically nine. It gives me eight ninety eight handling on my shotgun. On top of the fact that I have quick access sling and uh, the hot swap perk on it, the origin trait. And then onto the class item, I have a recovery mod, outreach to give me a little bit of melee energy, and powerful friends for twenty mobility to really give me that good stat split. And then the last thing on the armor is, and this is something that will not always be as good but will potentially always be an option is Raiju's harness so currently Raiju's harness is bugged I believe it allows you to double the time of your super from initially 20 seconds which is your normal arc staff super and double that to 40 seconds and then it also allows you to guard and not lose any energy while people shoot your block and it also allows you to cancel your super so you can pop your super wipe the entire team and cancel it early to get more energy back this is a very strong option to hot swap to and quite frankly i think is always going to be that way it's just about how long it's going to be that way and i'd right now i believe once again it is bugged and is a little bit better than it should be but this is always going to be the best option to hot swap to. And I pick Raiju's Harness over, let's say, an exotic like Raiden Flux because it passively gives you a buff. You don't need to hit people, or with whereas like with Raiden Flux, you need to be hitting people with Arc Staff and dealing damage to get that increase to super and to get the benefits of it. So, and with all of that, that is finally everything. That is the subclass, the weapons and my armor. And I tried my best to give you guys my thought process between or behind all of it and kind of give you a deeper look into the build. Certainly a deeper look than I would be able to give you like on stream when people ask me very commonly. So now we're going to transition into a gameplay against a team that I played with this build and the enemy team that I was playing was using pretty much the most meta stuff in the game right now they were using lorely not lorely they weren't using invis but they were using linear fusions like rents and arbalist and smgs which is the hard meta right now unfortunately most or fortunately i guess maybe most people are unaware of that and i think it will i think the gameplay is going to really show you how i i mess around with this build and kind of how i utilize it in certain situations especially in the the weapon hot swapping department and just hot swapping in general and it, the build i think requires a lot of attentiveness like it's not just you put on one weapon and you know that's it I, i'm very attentive about my gameplay I'm, I'm very like i'm very focused on like trying to do what is best for the moment and i recommend you guys do the same so anyway i hope you all enjoy the gameplay with the build and I hope you enjoyed the informative section of the video. Let's get into the gameplay now. Welcome to the Trials of Osiris. I believe this is a stack team. So are we, dude. Have you seen Life's Uh, uh Lorenz. Yep, Lorenz, Lorenz, Lorenz Arbalist. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Uh. Mm -hmm. There is nothing okay, just hide for uh, 20 minutes. This match, this fight, go. Easy. Yeah, I'm down. I'm just swapping a Raiju's right now. I need for Stompies because I'm just going to be in the back of the map with a scout. Go up. Sounds good to me. I'm putting on DMT, bro. Oh, I don't have DMT over here. Okay, I got to drag that over. One minute left, my friend. The good news about linear fusions is long distance, like really long distance, is actually bad for them. It's really hard to hit headshots from a really long distance with linear fusions. He got me. Suck. On the most insane head glitch ever. You're not going to be able to yeah, resume. You might be able to. Oh, no. Kill one. You maybe get him, Jake. 30 seconds left. One. That's a free kill. Nice to get that. Nice to kill. Maybe nice. get him. I think. Oh, they're watching it. They're watching it. They're watching it. 
One guy is watching it. Uh, they're pushing right. They threw a storm nade on his res. They got green. Both of them have linear. Titan is close. You have zone right now, or closer to zone. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be hard to get there. I know, I know. I just have to just... give up res to do it. I know, I know. I'm just letting you know you're closer to zone than they are. So you can play this out really long, run, and potentially get to the zone before they do, if that makes any sense. Like, and they'll die by the blackout. Yeah, one's like, already starting to push that off. way. Yeah, yeah, one is, one is. The Titan is going, the Titan is going. Hunter's watching you. Shoot. I missed the snipe, I could have landed that. You maybe get me. Oh no, he's pushing. Oh. I wasn't ready for him to push. Yeah, if I land that snipe, we win that round, but I missed it. That cost it. We can try to go in right on this side. You, you guys can. I'm gonna flank. Yep. I've got at least one in B. Okay. Got one down on nice. me, dudes. Good kill. They're going towards heavy. I'm starting to push that way. They're going to collapse on you, Fizz. Good one. One. Nice, good win. One minute I'm ramping him once in the body. He's not full. He's one. He's going to try to get the res. No shield, no shield. Yeah. Good job. Okay, on this side... I... I sort of assume we have to go back out again. I'm literally playing in Africa with a scout, personally. Like, I'm... I'm. You guys can go out. You guys can go out. You guys go out. I'm, I'm going to stay here and try to, like, rat maintenance. Like, I'm going to go maintenance late. I'm sitting in our spawn yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see anybody out. Okay. I'm just shooting to try to make them think we're over here. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably think you're over there. I'm just hoping that none of them are close enough to realize I'm maintenance. One is in the spawn crouching. Okay. He was hoping we'd come out here. I'm in maintenance right now, left, crouch. Yeah, there's... Uh, I don't know if you're gonna ever get an angle with it. Got one. Can we click on gazebo? MB, MB. The res is like yeah, in front of the stairs. Still two. Let's go. Oh my god, let's go. Almost there. You're the back. And uh, he was probably head glitching it, waiting for me. I'm gonna try to blink on the power here. Okay, I'm going from down low. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm gonna use my one blink to blink on the power. Okay, no, Hold on. I got it, I got it. Good. You will make cool. a show of this. There goes one of their shots. One's in maintenance right yep. now. One storm made down. One minute left, my friend. I'm gonna try wrapping around left. Well, what's in the head? I got RB. I couldn't get around the corner. He's pushing towards Jake. Oh, no. God. Throwing knife and still. We should have we should have just oh. played slow there, honestly. That's uh, our mistake yeah, for pushing have. a stack team using the best slowdown in the game. Potentially, at least. They might have had supers, but at least they would have had to use their supers for the round one. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what to do here now, since I already went maintenance, so they're going to be watching that. If you- I'll go- I'll go right, Jake, and you can stay, if you want. They might- they might stay back right, though. Eventually, like, they might literally sit and spawn. I don't see anything as of right now. I got no line of sight. I'm watching- on radar, MB. I'm watching tree. Can you, uh, Life's a Riot, can you play this wall here? Right there? Yeah. Play that wall, just let me know if you see anything on the radar. Yeah, I can see it right One now. One might be There's... coming from back left. They're all in so. I want no shield. One peak tree. One's probably on walkway. I don't understand how he knows I'm there. I just challenged for the first time in a minute. One here, you're pushing up. I hit him three times in the head, max rate of fire, that sucks. Nice, good. Try to get to me. Oh. He pushed in. From behind. I'm gonna have super this round. Okay, my big numbers are probably close too. I'll have mine potentially as well, especially if I get a kill or get it like a decent amount of damage in. I got blade, obviously. I'm trying to wrap around a maintenance and maybe get I a pick. bodied one, but... There's a guy mid. They went 
like all the way into our spawn. He ran away. Okay, I'm divider. I can maybe get mine. Mine can be the equalizer here. Like I can kind of. There's one crouching mid. They're on B. I'm backing up. I'm divider. I'm. I don't think I'm gonna have it because you're not, not able to get an angle on anything. I'm gonna put on. I don't know. Put on an SMG, I guess. Fuck it. I don't know what to do, honestly. I'm pushing into B. Tag one? Where? Yeah. I, I did him. He threw a throwing knife at me. Throw me on me, I'm weak. Ten seconds. I'm about to tell my super, I will have it for zone. Got Stay alive if you One's can. One's on the zone, crouching with a linear. Okay, just stay alive if you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop in and jump on zone. I hit one with a trip. Bottom stairs okay, right I'm now. I'm sitting on zone, just back up. It might use Thunder Crash. I should be able to cap zone with this. Yep. They did it. Killed him. Nice. Use Blade Raj me too. The two on zone. You can use Blade or something. They're two mid right side. He's one, he's they one. Both are absolute. Both are absolute. Ah, man. Yeah. He didn't peek. Yeah, I'm about to be freaking dead if I don't push in. I can't see. Head right side. Well, that's all, what, three? Nice, less, super, oh, nice, good win. Let's dude. go, that's actually, dude, way that's to get in there big. clean. Heck yeah. That's I mean, all three supers. Yep, that's good every job. single one of them. I didn't know how to be aggressive now, but... We don't have to be, job, honestly. Man. We don't have to be. I might be able to get another one, is the thing, like before them, because uh, Jake... I'm at my dodge right now. Like, I'm at the okay. tip of my dodge. There's no way they get their super before me unless I die. And... Okay. They're meeting, they're meeting, they're meeting. I'm just chilling right now. Okay. They're either meeting or they're, they're splitting. Dark tunnel missed one. There's someone back right, I think. I'm not I 100. I tickled one with a grenade. One's up. Didn't be. One shot I'm starting to move B. towards Fizz. Yep, I don't okay. see anything I'm right now. Move towards as, as of right now, we're clear. I don't. I'm not 100 percent on that though. Careful. Yeah, yeah we're close on bottom stairs. Okay, one's one's looking towards me. I'm going all the way in the back. Got me. One, oh, they might try to isolate me. They might try to isolate me. They, I, think they're, I think they're trying. I think they're trying. Towards you, Threw a storm nade on me. I don't know if it's actually going to go towards me. They're, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm half. I'm getting tagged by it now. It's tagging me. I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't think anyone's pushing. I think they're all back in middle. Yeah, yeah. They probably are. Ten seconds. One is radiant. One is radiant. They're going to power or going to zone. Yeah, I'm starting to rotate over that way. Oh, I got bodied. God, dude. He's, well, I'm dead. Radiant, he just hit all headshots so, so on me. Stupid. Zell doesn't ever miss, even in your point yeah, blank melee. Yeah, I, I believe they're teaming, <laughs> is what someone said. I, but people say that about any like good controller players. So. Okay, I'm actually moving inside a little bit. Okay. I just want to be able to protect myself with Barrage. Yeah, okay, you're good. Put on a hand cannon. I stood two kills. I got hit by Zell. He is up by tree. You can get Jake. You can get Jake, go for it. He's on the left, on the left. Oh my god. Good win, Fizz. Good win. I don't I'm, I'm big know numbers. How I'm big numbers. It's just Lorenz, man. I mean, I'll, I'll give him props, dude. The best Lorenz user I've ever seen. Uh, whether that's because he's zimming or what he's doing, who knows? I, I will have dudes. my super here if we play zone. I don't think there's any okay. way this guy has it. Like I'm, I'm almost. I'm, I'm going. To, I'm sitting where I am right now. Okay, are we sure we want to play back? I mean, here? where would you rather go out there? This is no, easier yeah. to protect these. Yeah, angles. I guess. I guess it's just we can't really rotate if they like try to pressure us. We have tether though, I guess. So I'm very close. And if to they super. push in at all, yeah. pop that tether. Gotcha. We play this to zone. We play this to zone. I'm pretty confident this guy will not. Let me check. It's the Zell guy, right? Zell is the dude who's been getting all the kills. He's 60. I don't... He might have it. He might. I'd be very surprised. I gotta back up. I'm weak. They might push maintenance in the time that I'm backed up. I'm small numbers. What's coming right? What's coming right? Be careful. 
They did not push maintenance. I had a okay. trip there. I'm, pl I'm playing this to zone. Even if he has Blade Barrage, I should be able to block it, okay? Yep. Just be careful rotating, you two, when I, when I do pop. Yep. Ten seconds. I'm popping around the corner, and then I'm blocking and moving. Darkness I'm moving now. Blocking. Good luck. They're on zone, they're on zone. Tether the zone, yeah. probably, dude. It I'm just sitting on zone, just sitting on zone. Get in zone with me if you can. One's nice coming left, one's coming left, one's oh. coming left, one's coming left. Let's go. Nice job. Good win, dudes. Actually awful, but good job winning Oh it. yeah, that was miserable, but <laughs> it's alright. That's, that's a awesome. YouTube video is what that is. That's a, that's, that's a yeah, like, the cord, the cord is like rumbling profusely right now. Like actually oh, they're profu furious, dude. Yeah, they're they are actually screaming, right actually like yelling at the top of their lungs, probably yelling <laughs> at each other because that's the type of things these players do.